Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to remove iOS beta profile so that your phone can move to stable iOS version without using iTunes that is PC or Mac and without any loss of data. It is a pretty simple process. Open the settings app, go to Wait, we'll get to it. But before that, there are some concepts that you should know to make sure that you understand exactly what you are doing and then do it at the right time and the emphasis is on right time. Therefore, make sure you watch the complete video first before following the steps on your phone. Otherwise, you might get stuck with an unstable beta till the final version comes out. Also, if you find this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe to get more such videos. So with all of this out of the way, let's get started. Some of you watching this video could be from non-IT background or some of you might be on the beta program for the very first time. So just for you, I will go through some concepts quickly in simplest possible language. Let's assume your phone has iOS 13 installed. All consumer devices are on a stable release track. And whenever a new software version is available, your phone receives it. There is also another track known as beta track. Beta software is pre-release software that is still undergoing testing and has not yet been officially released to the general public. In case of iOS, in Apple's own words, Apple releases developer and public betas for test driving pre-release versions and letting them know what you think. It can be installed on your phone by installing the beta profile. When you install the beta profile, your device moves to the beta track and you start receiving beta over the air updates. These updates are numbered as beta 1, beta 2 and so on. Each beta can have bugs, which Apple fixes in newer updates which are released in intervals of every two weeks. In total, roughly six to seven betas are released. The final stable version releases around September. Using betas can be an exciting experience to try out everything new that Apple has to offer in the upcoming release of iOS. But the betas can be extremely buggy, causing unexpected app crashes, device reboots, and sometimes have terrible battery life. So it's a good practice to move from betas to stable iOS whenever it is publicly released. Like I have said before, this stable public release comes around September. And just a few days before this release, when Apple thinks that most of the bugs are fixed, it finalizes the software and releases a beta version called Goldmaster or GM. This GM beta release is identical to the final release. And it's very rare that Apple would make any last minute changes to the final stable release that are not in the GM. Once you have the GM installed on your phone, it is the right time to uninstall the beta profile. Now how to remove the profile? Open the settings app, go to general, scroll and find profile. You will find the iOS 14 beta profile. Open it and tap on remove profile. It might ask you for your passcode and some future prompts. Just go through it. After removing the profile, your device will come back to the stable release track and will receive the final stable version when it comes out. This will be a very smooth transition. All of your apps and data will stay as they were. No syncing to the computer, no iTunes, nothing. Just like a regular over the air update. And going forward, you will continue getting stable updates. But what happens if you don't uninstall the profile after GM? Well, within a few days after the release of the stable version, Apple moves on to further development and starts releasing betas like 14.0.1, 0.2 and so on. And your phone will start receiving those updates. And frankly, these minor 0.1 betas don't have big new features and therefore are not worth keeping your phone in beta state with all those bugs and battery issues. Now what about if you remove the beta profile midway in the beta release cycle before the GM? Your phone will move back to the stable release track. You won't receive newer beta updates. Then you are stuck in between. But receive the stable update when it comes out. Your phone will still have the beta version installed on it till the final release happens. And it can be weeks or more than a month away. It is not practical to live with whichever buggy beta you had on your phone for so long. The only option you are left with now is to restore back to the last stable version like iOS 13 or reinstall the profile which will move you back to the beta track 
and then download the next beta. Therefore, don't forget to remove the profile at the right time, that is after installing GM. If you are not a developer and couldn't identify GM yourself, don't worry. Just follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will remind you by posting whenever it comes out. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Also, share this video with your friends who want to install and remove betas safely. If you have any doubts or questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. See you all in the next video.